Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope everyone's doing well. So I just got home from work. I uh, just want to do a quick video before I need to pick up my son. So I have been bad recently uh, buying Louis Vuitton items here and there. Uh, they are not big purchases though, but I guess it adds up. Anyway, so let me share with you one of the pieces I purchased recently. Actually, I got like just a few days ago. Um, so yeah, so it comes in these you know, brown uh, drawer box and then this is also an eBay found so I have been like sick of, really sick of winter and the freezing cold weather and everything and just like I definitely have cabin fever and um, yeah I just feel like we haven't really done anything you know the, the whole month of February besides work and just grocery shopping so I'm just can't wait, you know, to kind of enjoy spring and summertime, and then um, yeah. So when I saw this piece, you know, just you know, I really wanted to get it. Uh, this is actually a print that, besides the fact that it's actually my first limited edition piece, it's also um, it's also a print that I've never thought I want own anything in this print just because the color is so light and then if you have watched my other videos you know like I that like dark color you know especially black but I, you know recently I don't know I'm just kind of so sick of like dark colors and just because the weather and everything so yeah so let me show you what I got hold on a second so uh, it comes in this dust bag and then, ta -da! So this is um, Mila Koch in the Daimir Azul print, which is a print that I never thought I'd get any stinging, just because it's just so light. It's, it's so not me if you have watched my other videos. But when I see this limited edition piece, I can't remember the name of this. Maybe it's trunk and lock I have no idea but this is from 2009 yeah based on the date code um so yeah so it has been out for a while almost five years no almost six years I think but this is in a very good condition um I think it's like new condition so it's it's very good condition and then like even like the hardware, maybe it has like minor scratches, but like nothing major at all. And then like everything is so clean, and then there's no chipping at all on the uh, the screen print at all. Um, yeah, and then the inside is very clean as well. Yeah, so I really like this one. I mean, I uh, I did um, pay kind of. You know, good price for this one. Um, I basically pay probably close about the same as like current retail price for the Eva Clutch, but like just the regular print without the limited edition. But but I really when I saw this one, I really really liked it, so I just went for it. <laughs> so yeah, so let me show you a little bit detail on this one. This one um, actually does not have any Vachetta letter. On this one, um, let me show you. I actually have the Mila Clutch in monogram print. Hold on a second. So this is my Mila Clutch in monogram print, and I really love it. I really, yeah. So I usually use it as a wallet, and then also wristlet when you know I go out on uh, weekends, just for quick errands, rounds, and stuff like that. So let me put the cards on so you can see. So these two. Okay. So the monogram one actually has the Vachetta trimming, and that's the only Vachetta leather this one has. You can tell it's probably it's like getting pretty dark, and I probably need to clean it up a little bit. <laughs> but this one, it has no Vachetta leather at all. But the trimming here is actually treated leather, even though it looks tan, but it's like treated. And then, in terms of the zipper pull, like the regular uh, Mila Koch come with this, like uh, this kind of zipper pull, kind of you see on the um, uh, Zippy wallet. 
Okay, so it's like a golden brass zipper pull. But like this one, limited edition, it comes with this leather um, zipper pull, which is the same color as the trimming on the side, and then they both traded leather, so I don't have to worry about, um, yeah, I don't have to worry about the, you know, the color getting dark and stuff like that. And then it actually comes with these two tabs, Tags. Uh, this one's Cody Fibers uh, Cow High Leather Trim, and then this one just the tags say, I think say Pouchet MM Mila MM something something. Not sure, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I really love this one, um, and then I mean I always love uh, my Eva. Sorry, Mila Couch. Um, and then in terms of like wallet style, wallet slash like wristlet style, um, my favorite is the Mila Clutch and then and also like Sarah wallet or slash Emily wallet, that kind of slide, the front open one. So um, actually at one point I thought of buying the Mila Clutch in the Damien Ebin print as my wallet for my that Damien Ebin bags. but. I think at that point they either didn't have it or they only had one um, but it was limited edition but I didn't like the screen print on top of the uh, the canvas so I didn't buy it. yeah but I really like this one it's like well this is kind of my attempt to add more colors into my collection so <laughs> um, yeah and then after I got this one I started like, thinking about like um, you look into like Damien Azul bags um, for summer, um, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I've been looking at the pre love market, but it's definitely a little bit less um, popular than the Monogram and Damien Ebin print, so it's kind of hard to find good pre love items. Um, so, and also, I'm still like really. I'm not too afraid of like color transfer on these like cream ca color canvas, but I'm def definitely worried about like the Vachetta leather on all the Damir Azul bags. Yeah, so I don't know. I may get it, I may not, I don't know. Uh, but you know, if you watch my other videos, you know like I'm such a like matchy matchy person. But I think this, this uh, couch actually kind of match with like my Damien Bean bag too what do you think just because it comes you know it has this like you know screen print you know like brown color too so I think it kind of matches too so you know I might just use this for my Damien Bean bags yeah so um that's it and it's just like I guess this is like the stamps like it says like trunks London Bond Street Paris it reminds me of like the trend when I went to um, Europe yeah so it's kind of it's very interesting so I really like it yeah so just want to share this with you guys and if you have any questions on this particular um, piece or like just Mila culture in general I do have a video but if you have any questions you know I can definitely answer them and I really love them it's just a, such a cute um, wallet slash a wristlet um yeah let me show you so you can do like like a wrist wristlet so i really like it so yeah so that's it for today and then please comment rate and then subscribe and i will talk to you next time all right bye